All right, guys, so I'm going to go over with you. Since it's almost the end of February, the baits that I'm going to throw in the month of March. And I'm going to kind of preview this tournament I'm fishing at the end of March on a new river with this brand new series. So just stick around and we'll hop into it. So, most of y'all know I carry six rods with me on me at the most. I used to carry more, you know, sometimes ten, but all my kayak, but I've downsized, I've realized I just had too much weight in that kayak, and I thought of ways to make it smaller. So, I'm going to go with you. I carry three spin setups and three bait casting setups. I'll go with you what I'm throwing on those in the month of March. And I'm gonna go with the spinning setups first. And I got a six foot, yeah, six foot Berkeley cherry wood. I've had it for a while with an Akuma Avenger AV3000 on it. It's great. It is six foot, but it is a good drop shot rod. But I mainly throw neds and tubes and stuff on it. So, what I'm throwing first on it, Ned Rig. Neds. This one here is a Rapala. Crush City Customs in a Bama Crawl pattern. This is a Bass Pro Shops uh, half turd. Yeah, that's what they call it, the half turd. Because it kind of does look like it. And this is just a crawl pattern, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's a Bama Crawl. I love orange and red the month of March. Um, really key, really clutch. Normally, if the neds don't work, I will go to the two. I mainly throw this. This is made by a buddy of mine, J.L. Scott. Check out his channel, J.L. Scott Fishing and Eats. Um, he's also the uh, attorney director. He's been working his butt off trying to put together all these events for the year for this uh, new series I'm fishing in. But he made these and sent them to me. I've got a couple different color patterns he sent me, but these right here work really good. I've caught a lot of smallies off these in the past. Um, again, that orange works really well. Um, I give it short hops, make it kind of look like a crawdad skittering across. And when I want to downsize, I normally throw on a Strike King Bitsy Tube. Tends to work really well for me. So, going to that next setup, I have a six foot six medium fat, uh, medium fast, uh, 13 fishing rod and what I, I like to break out the t-rig and this is on tungsten and i like to throw curly tail worms these this here is just a zoom and a red shad but man again that red pattern they key in on they love it i like this if this doesn't normally work i'll take that worm off throw like a cinco on there like a berkeley general or a uh, young dinger again in like a this is a green watermelon pumpkin party or whatever they call it and this is just like a plum that red tint they like um i like to throw some creature baits too so normally if that don't work i'll kind of switch between like a missile baits baby d bomb or a strike king uh beaver this is a three inch rodent this is a three inch rodent um and a crawdaddy pattern and then this is uh they call this a super bug which is like blue with a brown bottom great for river smallies it's what i'm throwing in march if the worm normally doesn't work um moving on moving on moving on oh, i'm dropping everything 
All right, moving on. Depending on your water clarity and what you want to use, I like, um, I don't normally throw like a VMC rugby head or a shaky head, and this is a shaky head by Monster Bass, but I like to put that crawl on that. And that red belly. This is a LA, LA crawl pattern by Tactical Fish & Co. on their combat crawl. Really good. If that don't normally work, I'll switch to something like a um, like a Berkeley Chigger Bug or Chigger Crawl. And this is a watermelon copper. Again, it's almost the same color as that tube. Works really, really, really well for the smallies at crawl pattern. Again, combat crawls. This is the Bama Crawl pattern. Works outstanding. Um, got that black with the orange underbelly there. Again, that red, these are new that I just got, so, um, yeah. That's what I like to use. I mean, I'll, I'll use like a VMC rugby head or a ball head or whatever. Um, I got a loose six foot, eight inch, medium fast, with a uh, tasking bait caster on it. Throwing spinner baits. Um, again, this is a Strike King. This is an older Strike King red. I've replaced the skirt on a couple times. Um, I got a Kamikaze swim on by Big Bite Baits on it. Again, that red they really key in on. Um, when I fish the James River and such, I have really, really good luck on this. And then this is one by American Snakehead Customs. Kind of got that shiner, shiner pattern that they like. Again, river bass love them. Um, love a spinner bait. Honorable mention for that too. Um, I'll throw a chatter bait or uh, a swim bait like with an underspin or something on it. Or and this rod's also really good for swim jigs, so I'll use that too. But I don't want to drag all that out. Spinner bait's the main thing I'm throwing on that in the month of March. Uh, my crankbait setup is a, a six foot six. Medium heavy Abu Garcia Vengeance with Abu Garcia Black Max on it. And I've had that rod for a couple years. I love it. It's really good. It's held up. I've put a lot of abuse in it. It's just held up so good. Um, when I go to retire that lose, I think I'm going to go Abu on that too. And uh, anyway, crankbaits. This is a one by Bruiser Baits. It's like that. Crawl tiger spring call pattern. What I really like is just bumping this in shallow water near about five, six feet off the bank and just bumping that on rocks. And what I like to do is just bump it, bump it, bump it, and then pause it. And we like five, six cranks. I feel it hit a couple rocks and then I'll bump it because if you have a, a bass trailing this thing and you pause it and that thing goes like that, nine times out of ten, they are going to eat that bait. I mean, if you got anything shooting back up in their face, they're going to reaction strike it. That's my theory. I like doing that. And then another one I like um, is this Bagley in a summer crawl pattern. Again, same thing. Five, six cranks, pause. And, a lot, and you'll feel it. You'll see your line and you'll feel it. You'll feel that thunk and just hold on. <laughs> All right, moving on to like an all-purpose rod I got. I have a seven-foot uh, Monster Bass Lunker Stick. It's like the M3 Modulus. It's like all-purpose, medium-fast. It's a good jerkbait topwater rod. Uh, once it gets on into spring and summer, you won't see a jerkbait on that rod. You'll see a spook or a whopper plopper or something like that. But right now, and I have I caught fish on jerkbaits, but I just struggle so bad with it. And... That is this guy right here. I have caught some fish on this in March. This is a uh, the hollow shiner. It's got like purple on the head, like right in here, um, by Bait Labs. Check them out. It's really good, awesome jerk bait. It's a slow sinking jerk bait too, which what I have more luck on is that getting it down there. But normally, if that doesn't work, what I have luck on jerk bait style is soft plastic jerk bait. Um, this is a IU color pattern by 
by a tactical fishing company. Check them out. They are, he makes great baits. Custom makes everything. Um, check him out. Out of Maryland. He's a retired Army vet. Or a military vet. I don't really want to say Army. But I love this jerk bait. Um, it's a good countdown bait to kind of get it down where you want. And if I want to get it down really well, what I'll do is I'll take a small nail, cut the head off, and push it in through the head right here into the body and it kind of gets it down there a little bit better and you can twitch it all the way back and the things like with jerk baits that i found out is you never want to reel it you want to jerk it twitch it that thing back to the boat from wherever you're at oh man we kind of flew through that uh i guess like i can go through some like honorable mentions or whatever um uh, one that I have on right now on this lose is a a tactical fishing company. This is their MRE. It's off right here so you can see. And I got this on a jig head. And this is a really good swim bait. Um, pretty good. Caught some smallies off that the other day. I guess like any type single hook swim bait right now you could use too. Or even line throughs. I've been using a lot more of those the past few years. But all right, so March thirtieth, we have our very first single day event with this new series I'm fishing that JL Scott that does JL Scott Fishing and Eats uh, channel. Uh, he's on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Give him a, give him a check out. I mean, he's he's the brains behind all of this, and. Um, We've been doing monthlies since October 2023. Like free online monthlies. Sponsors cover all the tourney X fees for the anglers. And I've fished in all of those. I'm in a February monthly right now, but kind of been struggling. Trying to find time to fish. and uh, Winter bassing is not really my forte. I struggle with it. But we got our first one on the New River, March 30th. Uh, stage one. And... Uh, yeah, I'm so excited for it. I have a history with the New River, um, as do a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys that live up there locally that I know are going to be fishing in this thing. So I think those are going to be the guys that are going to take it home. Uh, but I know a couple of anglers that are going up there too. They're really, really good. And no matter where you throw them at, they're going to catch smallies. And it's just going to be an all-around fun event. And uh, yeah, just, you know, I, I think this uh, series needs all the support it can get. So uh, we do have a YouTube channel, the Smalley Chaser River Bassin channel. On YouTube, check that out too. I'll drop a link for JLs and that. Um, if you're a kayak angler and you love catching smallmouth and you want to get into tournaments, um, come on, join us. Give this a shot. Um, I think it's going to be really good. And, yeah, you know, um, if you look right here, I'll get the schedule right there. And, I'm so excited to fish. You know, the first two are really in my wheelhouse. Um, believe it or not, the third one, the Shenandoah event, I've never, never, never fished the Shenandoah, North Fork, South Fork, or the Middle Stem, but ah, me and old lady kind of looked, and we're going to make like a few, like a week out of it, because she's originally from Ohio, so she hasn't seen much of Virginia. So, uh, yeah, book the cabin, make a week out of it. I'm going to pre-fish for a little bit. Kind of learn the Shenandoah. And we got the Three River Sierra Showdown. I've never fished any of those Three Rivers. But just from doing my research, I think I'm going to hit the Ravana. Just because my home river, the Roanoke, it's about the same size, same width, all of that. So I think I'm going to stay on it. Go up three, four days early, pre-fish. You know, probably try to find a campground somewhere. Try to learn that river as quick as I can in three or four days. Um, we got the Potomac event, which is up there, Harper's Ferry. I'm unfortunately not going to be able to fish that one due to being out of town for work that week. And... The upper uh, middle James event. I'm also going to miss that because I'm going to be out of town on the same work trip. 
So then we go back. Oh, I skipped an, another New River date. I think the boundaries on this one are um, Virginia and West Virginia. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to look at that. But again, it's a New River. Yeah. New River's awesome. Check it out. Um, going back to the first Three River Showdown, the reason the reason why I chose the Ravana, main reason, you know, like I said, the Roanoke River. It's so much similar. I feel like um, I'm going to stick with what I know. But the other reasons are the Upper Rappahannock is a well-known smallmouth bass stream, and there's some big ones in there. I feel like that and the rapid end are really, really, really going to get the pressure. Um, I feel like that's where a lot of people are going to go. And they're going to overlook the little old Ravana. And I'm not saying that's going to be like the winning move to do it. But I, for me, I think it's going to work out really well. Um, I'm the type of guy, I don't shoot for wins. I shoot for top fives. I like, I like to be consistent. So... I feel like that's going to give me a chance to get up there and uh, do that. Moving on, moving on. Let me pull up the schedule right here. Here we got May. Yeah, three rivers shoot down. And the end of June. Yep, that's the new river one. It's after the Three Rivers Showdown. Let's see. Go back down. We got July. Yeah, the two in July are going to be the ones I'm going to miss. Um, well, if he has the date, I'll be able to fish the Upper Potomac or the Monotony. So, I guess that's how you... Up there in West Virginia. I heard that's a beautiful, beautiful area. So then, stage nine event is going to be the Susquehanna and PA. I'm super excited about fishing that. I've already looked up what uh what all I need to get legal for that. So as far as like Pennsylvania or Maryland, I don't even really know the boundaries on that. I need to go ahead and start researching it. And Try to find lodging and stuff on that. Make a plan to get up there. But I get back from my, that out-of-town work trip like a few days. So it's going to... I don't know if I'll be able to have too much time to pre-fish that. But Susquehanna has been a river that... Man, ever since I was a teenager, I've looked up and just been obsessed with this river. I just read articles in Field and Stream and online about the smallmouth bass fishing on the Susky. And I'm super excited about that. And then, let's see. Oh, we go back, stage 10 event. We go back for a New River 3. New River number 3 event. I need to go and research that. But not too terribly worried about that. Then we do another Three River Showdown. And you can fish the Stanton. Now, Roanoke or the Dan. So, I'm super excited about that. that I, <laughs> I get to fish my home water on that So with the Roanoke. But yeah, man, just, you know, we're on Facebook. Look us up. Uh, look up that trail. Try to, you know, if you think that's something in your wheelhouse you want to try. If you love fishing for smallmouth and you love being on a river over a lake, then give us, give us a check out. I mean, yeah, just super excited. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.